Welcome back to Aeon here at the Meta Gaming Aeon Prelude number two, and we're getting right into our next set here. We got uh, Hoshino's finest corn player, corn of of the streets, taking the title from me. Um, and we got AFW uh, Sonic Adventure uh, Sonic Adventure Two Speedrunner and Ness Main, as well as the winner of the first two casual invitationals that we've had. But this is going to be an interesting one. We got a. Uh, we got Small Body and we got Dragon Boy. So here we go. It sounds like we're going to get right into it right now. And here we go. Game number one. So Corrin, you know, got the stick able to help keep away the boy. But that boy got, got some projectiles. And we're going to definitely see AFW use those. Immediately <laughs> dropping down PK Fire here. Um, yeah, Ness is going to be able to do a good job of keeping away Corrin here. Corrin, one of the less mobile sword characters, but still can be pretty mobile. And uh, Beans definitely makes this character look super fast and... Beans already with a raw 62 unanswered. And it has AFW here at the ledge. Gets the grab back throw. Puts AFW at the ledge. Looking for the back airs perhaps. AFW able to clear it though with the PK fire off of the platform. But immediately back to the other ledge. The back air not quite enough to take it yet. All right, the down tilt gets a hit on the stage. And the counter there, that's going to clear it. Shido finds takes that first stock really clean. Only taking 10% exactly on that entire stock on themselves, but, uh, you know, AFW just wasn't allowed to breathe. Was put from coast to coast there, from, from the right ledge to the left ledge. And Hoshino's finest immediately gets a grab here. They're doing a really good job here at keeping AFW, like, keep him away from him, you know, not allowing AFW, you know, to get these hits, waiting for the opportunity, but AFW gets that dash attacks, trying to get this, trying to get it going, starting to get this damage. Ooh, the, uh, the the empty hop into the down smash, the PK Thunder tackle to get away from the situation. Beans there off of that PK Thunder trying to get the edge guard there. Get a little bit of extra damage for Tents, but here we go. Hoshino's Finest starting to get this damage going with these aerials. The back air puts him back at the ledge. AFW, though, able to clear it up, though, with the uh, up air. All right, now Hoshino's Finest on the ledge. Getting a little bit of health back there from that stray dragon shot, but, uh, no. Shido is fine. Is able to get safely off the ledge a little bit, but is immediately put back on. So, and the down smash there, very nice. Uh, but FW not sitting too healthy here himself. But um, you know, he's starting to turn things around here for him. Gets the PK fire, getting a bit of damage, getting 50 off of that. Very nice stuff. The parry, going for the back air. Interesting uh, choice, but uh, maybe didn't know what side Hoshido's finest was going to land on. You know, when you're playing in the moment, you know, you sometimes. You know, you just you're you're thinking too hard. You know, you got you got your brain going, and like things that that appear obvious, you know, aren't super obvious. But AFW doing a fantastic job right now at evening this up in the up air, taking the lead stockwise right now. Oh, and uh, Hoshino's finest has leaned in here. I don't know what just happened. Uh, they, the two of them exchanged some words. Not too sure what happened there. I'm not sure if it, nothing appears to be wrong, but um, I don't know what's going on. But immediately evening things right back up is Hoshino's Finest. All right. Trying to get the grab there. Not able to get Hoshino's Finest here. Just staying on that platform. Staying away from these fire, from this PK fire. But eventually does get hit. AFW's got a bit of a healthy lead here, but we are talking about a... Uh, Hoshido's Finest, we did see him get all that damage earlier. Oh, and the PK Thunder. Oh, he still had his jump, though. Able to get back pretty safely. The dash attack here. Waiting for... All right, the Nair able to clear the pressure. On the Dragon Fang shot there to just clear uh, AFW from jumping down from off that platform while he recovered. The down air. Ooh, the forward smash there. Able to catch that, uh, that jump in. All right. FW has to get off this ledge. He's giving him a bit of safe space, but not too much. All right, the pin not able to quite take it. A little bit of the heels. All right, I like the stall here at the ledge, but that down smash, able to take that stock. And uh, AFW bringing things back pretty nicely there after that first stock where he got blown up, you know. He basically, you know, almost got zero to death. To, did only 10% to, to Hoshino's Finest, but Hoshino's Finest, um, you know, Took, took some damage you probably didn't want to take. And uh, AFW was able to nicely start bringing things back. You know, playing patiently, not approaching when he had to, when he didn't need to, is what I should say. 
and did a fantastic job at that and uh, was able to bring things back. Uh, Hushino's finest, though, was, was looking a little, a little dire for straights there towards the end, but, um, you know, was able to, you know, start showing some life there towards the end, you know, we, after we saw AFW kind of took it, taking over that game, so. Um, it's going to be interesting, though, to see the, the decisions he has made internally inside of his brain there to adjust. Um, he was starting to get a little bit more momentum like he had at the beginning of the game, so it's going to be... Uh, interesting to see if that will carry over here, or if AFW's momentum there from from that game is going to carry over here as we get into game number two. I didn't see where we picked. We're going to Battlefield. This is a good choice for Corn, able to get these extensions off of the platforms. But uh, no. I've seen Ness do some wacky things on the stage. Although I've seen Ness do wacky things on every stage, so you know. All right. FW getting this aerial pressure, but Bean's able to Dina. Uh, Hoshido's finest able to down air right out of it. All right, the Nair. Ooh, forward smash. Might have been in misinput. Maybe it was an attempt at a bear or bear. I'm not sure. Ooh, tried to get the pin almost. Hoshido's finest here. Gaz AFW at the ledge. The Nair once again clearing. All right, the Nair once again. The Nair is very good at covering a lot of space here from Korn, but... FW able to clear the ledge, get some damage for that, and able to gain center stage here. Shio's Finest going to the top platform, just trying to get away from these nest hitboxes. All right, the falling up air, very nice off of the pin. I like it. And now, AFW's turn to play the video game. All right, the down tilt, poking at them legs. The down throw, though, not quite enough to take it, but that forward tilt, quite strong, able to take that stock. All right, now Hushido's Finest here at the ledge gets grabbed. Uh, is AFW able to get this edge guard? Uh, the back airs that should be able to, Yep, he's able to get back pre uh, very safely. But that yo-yo. Yeah, catching the, the tech roll away. Very nice from AFW here, bringing things right even. And now he's gaining himself a bit of a lead, but gets grabbed, put at the ledge. All right, coming down with the fair. Bean's doing a fantastic job with these aerials, covering a lot of space with them, and not really getting punished for throwing them out too close to AFW throughout this entire set so far. You know, doing very good at spacing, but AFW also doing a very good job at spacing. Uh, Ness's aerials, you know, uh, both players are playing quite safe. All right, the pin falling up air once again, catching AFW with the trap. Ooh, I like the wait there from AFW, waiting to see what the get-up option was from, from Hoshido's Finest. I think he wanted the Thunder Jacket there, but then realized he might have gone a little too far if he actually got it. He's opted to try to put pressure on the shield of Hoshino's Finest on his landing in the up air there. Able to clear the ledge. All right, now Hoshino's Finest has finds himself on the ledge. All right, and the fair putting him right back off stage. PK Thunder here, trying to gimp. Like, uh... Corns up B, able to get back. Ooh, the raw bear, able to go through the absorb. Ate a little bit of a trade there, but obviously worth it. But the drag down into the grab, able to clear it. And now we're on final stock situation. All right, trying to put the pressure on with these PK fires. Up throw, the PK flash. All right, Hoshida's fine. He's got to find a way to get down, but the... BK Thunder Tackle able to take that. And AFW takes that 2-0. Good stuff there from AFW there. Both games at the end starting to, you know, run away with it. And uh, definitely, you know, very smart there with the BK Thunder Tackle. You know, taking that stock is very good stuff from him. Also very good stuff from Hoshino's Finest.